Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This has been my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, September 25th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are someone that uses charts within your trading or maybe just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple clarification points. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock term one here, MLGO, pretty basic premise here. This thing was either just a one day pump and dump or this thing's got some more life in it and our leading indicator that maybe the selling is finally over is the fact nothing fancy that but just simply that the price finally started to go sideways down here right around four dollars and 70 cents now i want to reiterate that because i wish i could say tra trading was this easy but just because there is this nasty mood of the downside and now the price is going sideways this sideways movement doesn't mean for sure it's bottomed out and for sure going to turn itself around my point here is does it become plausible is it at least a worthwhile question to throw out there Absolutely, because if you've traded long enough, then you've seen situations like this where it's looking like, okay, maybe this was just some sort of one day pump and dump, and then all of a sudden, wow, it, it comes back to life. Now, to be fair, maybe it was just a one day pump and dump, and that's why risk management and stop losses matter. But nonetheless, it's still a very interesting situation. Huge explosion, huge collapse, but the sideways action. Does this sideways action mean that the selling's over and that there could be a bounce next week? We'll see what happens. Next one, AVTX, penny stock here, started off today very strong, pulled back, but it's not like it totally collapsed, which is why I would definitely consider this area right here at 11 cents, a very, very important area. And why is that level so important? I'm not saying this will occur, but just for explanation's sake, let's say the price comes down here and then breaks down through that level. What would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would quite literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out of. In other words, that would imply that the price made a huge move and then went right back to where it started. Not exactly a sign of genuine power. However, because no price can go straight up, if the price were to come down here, behave like that, and then start to curl back upwards, now all of a sudden, what do you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have lows right there. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, what do you have from the bigger picture? Well, now you'd have progress being made in the upwards direction. And again, that's what it's all about. Movements with true strength are not gonna go straight up, nothing goes straight up, but they are at least gonna show progress. And again, the quote unquote progress point right there at 11 cents. Next, NKLA, and overall, a, a rough day, sure, but from a bigger picture point of view, it's sort of a sigh of relief because the price was approaching, and you can see it got very close to that pink line right there, which on my chart illustrates the very well-known, the very important 200 period moving average, and when it was getting around there, it made a whole lot of sense to be saying, uh-oh, is the price going to come down there and now even push down through that moving average? But we got our answer. Not only did the price not even go down to that level, but it actually bounced up from there. Now, does that mean that the, it's guaranteed to hold the pink line next week? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that at that moment in time, uh, things were looking a little sketchy for the bulls, but the bulls showed up, got the bounce. So that's an encouragement headed into next week that that pink line held. And you definitely want to see that pink line continue to hold the price, assuming, of course, you're bullish next week. In terms of areas of resistance, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this level here. And the reason for that is looking closely, you can see there the purple line, the 50 period moving average is now moving down below it, hence moving average. So next week, as the days play out, that line is going to continue to move itself downwards and get more and more relevant. So in other words, I'm just going to go ahead and we can use that as the main area of resistance. That way I don't risk causing confusion because there's lines and clutter everywhere. Let's try to keep this as clean as possible. So really at the end of the day right now, headed into next week, pink line down here, 200 period moving average, key level of support. Purple line up here, 50 period moving average, key level of resistance. Next one, TSLA Tesla, and uh, just another rough, rough day for this one. To be fair, the overall markets had a pretty rough day and a very rough afternoon, uh, but nonetheless, um, Tesla did not escape that. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually just adjust this area down here because this level right here earlier on in the day had become an area of support at $252, but as a rule goes in uh, trading when levels of support are broken and it was broken right there, they tend to act as resistance. So first update here is let's just convert this former area of support now to an area of resistance. So if there is any sort of attempted stabilization and then moving back upwards, that'll be the first big question mark right up there at 252 in terms of whether or not the price can push up through there. In terms of levels of support, you can see that as I speak, like I said, that's why I like to do these when the markets are open, this candle is literally pushing to new lows right now. So Tesla having a very rough close. Uh, again, to be fair, the overall markets are having a terrible close right now too. Uh, but as far as next levels of support are concerned, I realize the chart's a little bit harder to see here, but 
uh, you know, that's uh, just illustrates that it's been a long time since the price has been down in this area of the chart with the next key level of support being down there at uh, $243 and we'll just call it 25 cents. And that's coming from these lows back here in early September right there. But overall, no doubt about it, brutal move today, brutal downtrend. We'll see how things play out next week. Next, AMC, uh, and it's had a very, very nice start to the day. Uh, so definitely one of those things where probably people are disappointed heading into the weekend because, yeah, I mean, give credit or credit's due. At one point, it was all the way down there, but then all of a sudden spent the rest of the morning and early afternoon up, 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 and then just like that, down it went. And then as I speak right now, you can see last 30 minutes, brutal candle here. But to be fair to AMC, just like to Tesla, the overall markets are having a, uh, you know, a, a very rough period right now also. But overall, $7.40 still, you know, is the level of support. I am going to add in one more area because maybe this is some sort of double bottom uh, bounce next week right there at $7.60. Uh, you know, that's just where the price found some support during the opening 30 minutes. So guaranteed, no, but is it rational to think that the price could come down there and get a bounce off it? Yeah, that, that makes sense to keep an eye on that dynamic. And then as far as levels of resistance, what I'm actually quite curious about is, is the price now going to enter into some sort of sideways channel pattern, top of the channel up there at $8.10, and maybe the bottom of the channel down here around $7.60? Uh, definitely just a speculation on my end right now, but uh, these are definitely two key technical levels uh, that stand out pretty clearly, so you got to think a lot of other people are watching them. But yeah, definitely a very, very nice first part of the day here for AMC, and then just a very disappointing latter half of the day. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering next week. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box, or if you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. Next one here is LIFW and overall held up quite nicely today, especially considering the overall markets. Now, it finally did not put in a new higher high. I mean, for quite a while, this thing was putting in these higher highs. Today was a lower high. Now, does that mean it's the end of the world? Absolutely not. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, you know, so that maybe some sideways action here is now approaching. But, you know, look at this on, on kind of the positive side of things. There's now a very well-defined trend line right here that you got to think a lot of people are probably going to be watching here moving forward, which introduces in a potential self-filling prophecy where you have enough people watching the same level and wondering the same thing. And if a price comes up there and breaks up through it, well, people are going to buy just because, well, hey, I'm a breakout trader. Oh, look, that's breaking out. Oh, I'm supposed to buy. And those sorts of situations can create, you know, momentum in and of themselves. So really very straightforward in terms of uh, resistance levels with the tread line, very key level. And this will mean more to those of you that have watched past videos, but you know that I've been talking about that purple line right there. So just a classic, classic example of the power of charts. You can see found support right there. And then even earlier on in today, found some support, very nice bounce. So for those of you that watch past videos uh, and notice that purple line and, and you know, pick some up right there, a big congratulations. You got paid very, very nicely as there is a fantastic bounce from that area. But all in all, key level of resistance, the tread line right there, key level of support, that 50 period moving average. Next one, PLTR, and uh, overall, I'm gonna say this was a very, very good day, and the main reason I say that is, think about Tesla, think about AMC, those other ones we were watching, and how the latter part of the day was basically at lows, not in, and you know pushing to new lows, and that hasn't happened here, you sure? Last 30 minutes, there is this red candle here, and let me zoom in here so we can see it a bit better there. So yeah, the last 30 minutes, there is definitely this red candle, there's no you know denying that, but it's not like this thing is down at these lows or anything like that, so, Essentially, just a big sideways day for PLTR, which all things considered, sideways can sometimes be very bullish. And I'd consider that here, given that the overall markets were getting you know, destroyed and this thing is at least just going sideways. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that level. And really nothing has changed from the support side of things. The levels that I talked about in the previous video still do pertain. So you have this initial level right here at $14 and this next level down there at 1370. In terms of areas of resistance, I don't think there's any need to, to overcomplicate things. We'll just keep it simple and no pun intended and just use that 50 period simple moving average because uh, I think that makes the most sense right now. But yeah, like I said, all things considered, I'd consider today quite the healthy day. Next one, AMD, and depending on your strategy, uh, you could add a very nice move on this one. Uh, I talked about this previously, talked about that uh, resistance right there, and you can see right here, got the break of it this morning, and then had a nice move. So if you're a day trader, that was plenty of wiggle room to, to get out a profit. Now, if you were looking for bigger moves because you're a swing trader or something like that, then yeah, today was a massive disappointment because it did get the breakout, but then has failed miserably back to the downside. Um, so, which now brings about a potential area here that you got to think a lot of people are watching. So once again, with that talking point of self-filling prophecies, you got to think that a bunch of people have noticed this 95, 75 mark and have said, huh, that's interesting. 
It's bounced from there several times th before. It's bounced from there a couple times there. And in fact, it's essentially bounced from there during the last 30 minutes. So will it bounce again moving into next week? Not a guaranteed scenario, but certainly a very plausible question to throw out there. But again, that's why risk management matters because no guarantees. So if this thing decides to just flush down through there, make sure you have uh, your risk managed. In terms of levels of resistance, I'm going to go ahead because that first trend line that I just drew in, you know, like I said, presented a nice little breakout, assuming that you're a day trader. And I'm going to do that too with this more so an overarching level right up here to keep an eye on. So moving forward, keep an eye on these couple levels. Now, I should note real quick that even if the price does break that red line there, don't get overly excited because not that far away, you have the looming 50 period moving average, which has a track record of acting as resistance already. So yeah, that'd be good if the price broke above that trend line. But like I said, just keep in mind that 50 period moving average. Next one, LCID. Been a while since I've done this one, and it's, I'm not going to call it a cult stock or a super popular stock, but it, I think it's popular enough, uh, and it's got a nice little pattern here. So figured, you know what? Let's get this thing updated. So let me get this all drawn into the play here. So the first part of this pattern is the support portion of it which we have right there. And then the next part is gonna be the resistance portion of it. There we go. And this is what I would call a falling wedge pattern. Now you may think falling is a bearish pattern, but actually a rising wedge is bearish, falling wedge is bullish. And with the other dynamic here, as you can see that good, huge volume, last 30 minutes, look how big this volume bar is. And as I speak, it's looking like a hammer candle is trying to form. Market closes here Oh, in less than one minute. So it's looking like you're going to get a hammer candle at the lower part of the trend line on big volume. Does that mean for sure guaranteed the price is going to turn around? Of course not. But does it become a whole lot more plausible right now? It at least keeps, uh, in my opinion, it's worth keeping an eye on. And that's what a watch is all about. To find those unique, to find those inter interesting situations, and not rush out and randomly buy stuff, but to watch it and see how things uh, you know, continue to play out. So if you like stocks down below $10, you like falling wedge patterns, I definitely keep an eye for on this one. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ market. So if you believe the NASDAQ market is going to rise, this one will also rise. And that's why today, rough day here because NASDAQ did not really rise. Um, and that's uh, you know where the, the sideways movement is coming from. And especially that final 30 minutes. I mean, just brutal last 30 minutes there. And what's interesting here is the trend line that I drew previously ultimately has come back into play. Meaning right here, earlier on in the day, the price broke through it. Problem is that the price could never really gain any sort of more further upside momentum. And then you can see right here, the price broke down below it. And then as soon as the price dropped back below it, you can see that that level went right back to acting as resistance again later on in the afternoon. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this level completely in play because again, in my mind, that's uh, clearly has gone back to acting as resistance. So keep an eye on that resistance area right there. And then of course, from the overarching level, continue to watch a purple line there. It's pretty much irrelevant right now, but you know, you never know, this one can make big moves. So if the price were to break up through there, keep an eye on that, which you can see has acted as resistance already a couple of times. And then as far as supports are concerned, Nothing new here, uh, the same level that I've talked about previously down here at $35.25. Uh, I guess it got kind of, not really, no. I'm not even gonna say kind of close. Didn't even really get that close to it, but nonetheless, keep an eye on $35.25 for support. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to go get signed up for the free live online class. It'll be next week, Thursday, September 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, do two things for me. If you enjoy these, hit the like button, leave a comment, say hi, tell me what you traded today, tell me what you're watching tomorrow or uh, next week. Those two things help out the channel and I really do appreciate it. So if you enjoy these videos and if you'd like for me to continue to make this content, then a quick way to communicate that to me is just hit the like button and leave a very basic comment down below. So everybody, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great weekend.